Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so just the other day, as I mentioned yesterday, I was over on the uh, OTP development uh, forums, and I'll just uh, show you here what I saw. In fact, we'll make this a little bit bigger so that it's a little bit uh, better on your eyes. Uh, there we go. That's probably big enough so that those of you on mobile can see it. Um, the question here from the global moderator is, would you still buy or play OTP if it didn't have the MLB license? As the title said, would you still buy or play OTP, OTP if it didn't have the MLB license? That, this, that would mean fake teams, but presumably not necessarily fake players. Sure, some people will answer no, but I just wonder if it's as big of a percentage as we might think it is. And then for what it's worth, I don't mean to cause anyone any worry. I don't think OTP people want to drop the license. I'm just wondering the question out loud is all. 53, I'm sorry, 56% say yes, 29, almost 30% say no, and then everybody else is undecided, right? Interesting stuff, and this brings up a couple of interesting uh, discussion points, right, that um, I thought of when I saw this. Uh, the first one is the most obvious, right, which is that um, OOTP, as you may remember, about a year, just a little under a year ago, lost the uh, Japanese license and um, sort of uh, issued an update to remove Japanese um, teams and uh, references to Japanese leagues from everybody's saved game, which was probably not the best thing in the world for them to do. Um, the truth is, and I've talked about this before, that if you look at OTP and um, it's kind of what was going on, I think you'll find that OTP shouldn't have been using those uh, teams to begin with because it just wasn't licensed. I mean, there's no real excuse for them to do that. That's not the case for the MLB teams. And a lot of people in this thread mentioned that um, in the old days of OTP, which I remember, um, uh, you uh, would have to download some sort of fan-made database uh, to be able to play with real teams and real players from the past, right? In fact, OTP's database is one of those fan-made databases that has been tinkered with a bit over the years. Probably could use a little bit more tinkering um so i mean it's kind of weird to ask if you would um still play otp if it went back to the way that it was back then interesting for me to note or for us to note that such a high percentage of people would actually not play the game according to what they say or um yeah would not play so about 30 percent right that is interesting to me and a little bit shocking i would imagine that most people would sort of want to keep with it um but this is kind of a bigger question, I think, for baseball fans um, of all games um, and of all simulations, which is, you know, if you didn't have access to the MLB license itself, that is with, um, uh, you know, the uh, fake teams. Um, uh, so, you know, is uh, so to, uh, to, you know, put this in the right perspective, back in the old days with APA, you'd have the name of the city and the name of the team and all the envelopes. At some point in time in the 1980s, this changed, and uh, you could only have the city name. And instead of American League and National League, it was Junior Circuit and Senior Circuit, right? That's part of the question, which is, is that a deal breaker for anybody? Would it be more convenient to have the team name there? What about team logos? Do we want team logos to be on the envelope or to be on a little uh, bag that comes to hold the cards or on the cards themselves? Or is that too much? Is that something that's a really bad idea, right? Is that is that something that we like probably shouldn't you know go with at all and um, is kind of a non-starter, right? I mean, it, it sort of depends on you. What do how do you think about this and uh, what is your opinion on the subject? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, as long as something can uh, you know replay baseball seasons with a certain degree of accuracy, I don't care if you call the team the right thing or if you put them on the North Pole. It doesn't really matter to me. I care more about the players and their performance than I do about you know whatever laundry the um, uh, pixelated players play in on the field or whatever imaginary field it is that they play in. That doesn't really matter that much, right? I will say, though, that with OOTP, one of the issues I had with it when I started playing it back in, I want to say 2013, I think it was, um, <clears throat> it would have probably been for around the release of OTP 14, actually. One of the issues that I have with it is that if you play OTP and you play in just generic stadiums and you're playing with an old um, season and uh, you haven't figured out how to load up the ballparks right, um, uh, it's really not the same experience, um, especially, I mean, it, if every park is the same generic park, you really just don't get the same feel for it, at least with the graphics engine, right? Whereas with NP3, the game that we just played, right? I mean, 
it clearly has no differentiation between different types of ballparks, right? And there is no mechanism to make ballparks look different, right? Um, I can still feel a good degree of immersion, right? I think part of it has to do with sort of your expectations, right? If you have a game that has even a 2D um, engine that has action or has some sort of like display on your screen um, and um, it's uh, not the correct ballpark, that's completely different than, uh, you know, playing with like, you know, a dice baseball game and having the little sheet out in front of you and trying to keep track of stuff. So that's at least the way that I feel about it. I also know that a lot of people do like playing fiction projects as i've said before i mean there are a lot of people i know in fact my dad likes playing um you know with uh, these games and redrafting teams and doing a full fictional thing like that um when it comes to uh doing that sort of league if you're redrafting teams that are like the real players in real life i could see using a, a modern and or i'm sorry a different engine than otp but if you're using fictional players i have a real hard time understanding why you would not use otp because it's actually really good and you can come up with you know certain sort of checks and balances on your own realism to play the game the way that you want it played um yeah, if that were the case, of course, you wouldn't care at all about any of this stuff. You wouldn't care at all about the license or anything. It's kind of funny because um, I think if you had this poll, um, you know, earlier this year and asked people if OTP did not have um, NPB um, teams and leagues, the thing you can't even say on the message board anymore, I think if they had asked that question, a lot of people would have said, yeah, if that were dropped, I would leave because I think a lot of people did leave. So anyway, interesting thing to compare and it's a very interesting question to see on the, um, uh, the official forums like this. Um, and I'm interested to know kind of what you think and uh, what your uh, point of view would be um, if you would play it, if it did have license or didn't, or if you don't care at all, if you just don't play it altogether. Talk to you later. Bye.